Uh, hey guys, how's it going? So welcome back. We're continuing with our 2021 paper. So this is uh, part 2B, okay? And if you're watching from YouTube, then you probably have a few videos. We won't cover everything. But then we, we're encouraging YouTube to join our, our website, okay? So that you can have uh, access to all um, questions as, as well as um, uh, topics as well, okay? So this is... This is um, Question 2B, it says simplify 20 minus 8 divided by 20 plus 8. It's supposed to give your, your, your answer is a common fraction in its simplest form. Okay. So with fractions, what you should uh, know is that with fractions, you should always, you, you divide only when, in general, you divide only when you have uh, a numerator, a simple numerator, and a simple denominator. Okay. So you can actually simplify uh, these things uh, separately. So... Yeah, you, you, should, you should be having so 20, 20 minus minus 8 you get 12 then 20 plus 8 you get 28 okay so but then you're supposed to to simplify uh, to your your answer to the to the lowest terms okay so or the simplest form so you find the the highest common factor here so the highest common factor would be what number would divide into 12 in, in into into 28 uh, you can also try even two and then but then you'd have to do it repeatedly okay i'm going to show you both both ways the uh, smart thing would be to find the highest common factor here it's actually four so four into into 12 you get three then four into into 28 then you get seven so you just get three over seven just like this okay so another way to go about it because sometimes it's not very obvious what's the highest common factor between numbers so for example 12 and 28 you may not know that four is the highest um common factor so what you do is you can say 2 how do you know that 2 is a factor when the last number it says an even digit that means the 2 is a factor okay so 2 into this you get 6 2 into this then you get 14 then again you repeat 2 into this then you get 3 2 into this then you get so you get 3 over 7 still just like what we what we had with this one okay so that's that's it uh, we're going to move over to the next question and next question says list the prime numbers between 14 and 20 so prime numbers you should know them prime numbers simply means numbers that have um, uh, two factors so they have two factors the number itself and, and one okay so for example three three has two factors three gets into three without leaving a remainder one gets into three three without leaving a remainder there's no other number so it's just two factors so that's why we say uh, 3 is a prime number. Okay, so what you do is you have numbers 14, uh, 15, and 16, 17, and 18, and 19, then 20. So all these numbers, that this, this, these are the numbers that you have. So 14 is not a prime number. So the reason for that is you have 2, you have uh, 7, and you have your 14 and when listing when listing the factors for for numbers you should you should know that once you reach the the half the number then you can you can always just skip so it'd be the the number i will show you with uh, with 15. so 15 is different obviously but 15 it's 3 5 and, and and 15 okay so uh 15 is not a prime number it has three factors it's like it actually has four so you also have one here you also have one here so four factors four factors and then you have 16. Yeah, 16 will be cool to uh, show you what I was talking, uh, what I was telling you about. So it's two, then four, then eight. And once you reach eight, since it's half, just skip to to the number. So it'd be eight and 16, just like this. So again, you have, so including one, so you have uh, two, four, five factors. So with 17, you only have 17 and one. So 17, that's the number you want. And then 18, 18, you have uh, 1, you have 2, you have 3, you have 6, you have 9. After 9, which is half, you skip to 18, okay? So with 19, you just have 19, 19, and 1. So 19 is also included just like this, okay? So this, the, I'm doing this just to show you, but this is one mark again. It's supposed to be intuitive to you. Uh, you're just supposed to write the answer here just by, you know, inspecting the numbers. Uh, not necessarily by, by by doing all this okay it's unnecessary so the uh, question for a item two it says write uh, the number this in words okay so how, how would you read it so you'd read it as 801,008 okay so the, these are the thousands these ones 
and then these ones they are the, the, the number that you put after the thousands. So th they are the number that you put after the thousands. So this one would be 801,000 and, and 8 and whatever number that you, you have here. Okay, so it'd be 800, 800 and 1,000 and 8. Okay, so this is, this is what you'd uh, be waiting. And then B part it says express six and uh, six uh, six point six five hours in hours and minutes. Okay, so your presentation you'd say six. It's six points, so obviously it's six hours and something. So you'd say six hours plus what plus zero point six five hours, just like this. Okay, so zero point six five hours is what you want to change to two minutes. So how would you do it? So you have six hours here plus 0 0.65 hours. So you'd say 0 0.65 hours. Then your conversion factor or the factor that you're using to convert would be the, the factor that gives you minutes, the conversion from, from hours to minutes. So it'd be 60 minutes because you have 60 minutes in an hour. So it'd be 60 minutes over, over hour like this. Okay, so 60 minutes per hour. So that's you, that would be your, your conversion factor. So here you'd, you'd have, again, you'd have six hours. Here if you want, you can write this as, this is a decimal, so you, it's, it's always easier to uh, deal with fractions. So it'd be 65 over, over 100, multiply by, by 60. Then minutes per hour if you want, and then you can write hours here. So this one's in this, this one, they, they cancel. Okay, so you're actually left with, uh, with minutes here. So you can cancel out this one and this one, and that's good. And then you can say 65 multiply by uh, 6 if you want, divide by by uh, 10. You can just uh, say 2 into 2 into 6 here, then you get 3, right? Then 2 into, then you get 5 here. So 5 into 5, then you get 1 into this, then you get 1, remainder 1 into this, then you get 3. So 3, 13 plus, times 3, then you get 39. So you get uh, 6 hours, 39 minutes just like this okay so that's it for for this for this part and let's see if we can if we have still have time for for one more so yeah this this one it's uh, it's pretty straightforward so i think i think we'll, we'll do this one as well so 5a it says list the the three values of x such that x greater than or equal to one and uh, is less than or equal to four okay so uh, where x is a natural number, this is important. Okay, so x is a natural number. Natural numbers for this case it simply means the, the numbers that you one, two, three, just like this. They are the natural numbers. Okay, so uh, what you do here is you can list if you want, but then it's just two marks. Okay, so you can you can say uh, this, and then it also shows that you know the set notation. So you can say. This one, so one is included. You're listing the numbers that you have in that set. So two is included, three is included, and also four is included. Okay, so these are the numbers that you have. So you just want the first three numbers. So it'd be one, two, and and three. Okay, so like this, and then that's it. So it says. Uh, so the next next part, part B, five B. It says express two seventy as a product of uh, its prime numbers in index form. Okay, so I'll show you two ways to, to, to do this. Uh, the easiest way would be to use what's called a T diagram. So you can just uh, put a T here. And then you put your 270. And what you're doing is you want to um, find factors of this number, okay, until, until you have, you're only left with that number, with the one only. So uh, here you can say two, because the number ends in zero. So two is a factor, and also five is a factor. You're only using prime numbers then. Okay, but then here, I advise you to use five. Why? Because your number reduces very fast. I'll show, I'll show you the, the alternative. Okay, so if it'd be five into, into 27, it'd be five, then you'd be getting a uh, remainder two. So into, into 20, you get four here. Okay, but then imagine if you had uh, used two. So it'd be say, you'd be saying 270 divided by two here, then you get uh, into, 20, into two, you get one into this, you get three, remainder one into, into this, uh, it's, it's five. Then you have this number, this big number that you have to deal with anyway. So it's, it's always good to, to use the prime numbers that are, that are bigger. Five is definitely a prime number. 
And uh, here the number is ending in, in four, so two is a, is a prime number, so you can you can use two this time. So here you say two into five, then you get two, then you made a one here, two into fourteen, then you get seven. So 27, three is a factor. You can you can know this by inspection. Okay, you're expected to know the 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 multiplication tables for numbers one to 13, 13 at best, but then if you can do 12, it's still fine, okay? So um, here we say three, three into, uh, into 27, then you get nine. Then you say three again, three into three, then you get three, then three into three, then you get one, like this, okay? So you'd uh, get five, two, uh, three, three, like, like this, okay? So you're asked to uh, write this in, in uh, index form. Index form means the form, you know, that uses powers. So the way they advise you is just write the, the smallest number first. So you'd be having two. Two doesn't have any any other two here. So you just write this two. And then here you have three threes. So you'd be three to the power three, then multiply by five here. Okay, so this is this is how you'd uh, you'd work it out normally. Then the, the, the other way to go about it, if you're really fast and you're interested in method P2, to just break down this, this number here. So you can see that it's 27 times 10. So you can just say 27. Multiply by ten. Yeah, most most numbers they you, you can you can actually make sense of them like this. Then you uh, inspect this twenty seven. Twenty seven is three to the power three. You'd know by by inspecting just twenty seven. Okay, from the multiplication tables. And then uh, those ten you can you can break it down into two prime numbers. So it'd be two by five. So you write like this. Okay. So this one it's actually faster. And uh, you get to get the same answer. Okay, so if you want, you can say to the power one here, but any number to the power one is the number itself. Okay, so you can just leave it like this. It's still fine. So uh, that's it for this video. I'll join you in the next video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye. Out.